nice of you to drop by. Oh, what a relief it is to see even a small number of my beloved cats come back to me. I cannot imagine life without them. To feel their weight upon my lap is enough to raise my spirits. It's strange, but I feel as if their innocence is capable of warming my heart. No, no. I just find myself missing a bit of warmth now and then. That's all. This is not the time to worry yourself about me. Let us get back to the cats. There are still many that have yet to return home. We must rescue them at all costs. I just know they are out there somewhere, waiting for you to save them. Thank you for coming. Oh, do you speak true? Please, I would be delighted with your aid. How goes the cat search? I hope they are all safe and well. Farewell, noble warrior. Until we meet again. Thank you for coming. It is simply perfect. A 
I am delighted you so frequently make time to see me. We live in a disquieting world of late. I pray you are not getting yourself involved in anything too dangerous. I certainly hope not. It is crass of me to speak of the outside world. It is just that... I spend all my days within the confines of the district. I sometimes dream of being able to leave. Of watching the sun as it sets behind the mountains. Unhurried. Alone. The wisps of cloud that linger over peaks lit by sunset's glow are identical in shade to the sleeves of my morning robes. From the tale of Genji. Lovely, is it not? Hmm. I can almost see it all before me. Usugumo, wisps of cloud. My name was derived from that poem, you know. And there is another reason the name is important to me. Perhaps, if we get to know one another better, I might let you in on the secret. I suppose you will just have to keep coming to see me if you want to know more. <laughs> You're here. It's always a pleasure to see you. Apparently, Mr. Harris has been in hiding since the incident. As to where he is, well... Why not try asking around at the Grand Villa? It's where Westerners mingle with the high and mighty. And then there's... Well, let's just say there might be another way. I have some contacts in the Shogunate. If you are interested in doing a favor for them, I could make the necessary arrangements. The Pleasure District is a crucible where the powerful mix and mingle. It is quite natural that I should know a good number of these men. <laughs> you don't believe me, do you? Well, either way, I really do have something to ask you. Ah, now I think about it, there was one more favor I wanted to ask. I would be delighted if you'd see fit to aid me in this matter. Whenever I get close to a certain row of abandoned houses, I feel like I'm being watched. 
When I turn around, no one's there. But I just know somebody's watching from some dark and lonely corner. Would you be so kind as to investigate and find out who's watching me? Thank you. What a relief. But do be careful while you're out there. Wuckering about without a fear. How oh, quickly you've forgotten about Kudok. Be prepared to die, traitor! Like a ninja, he appeared out of nowhere with a message. He said, We have Taka at Benden Shrine. If you want her back, the traitor must come alone. And I heard from some others in the Pleasure District that Taka had asked your guidance on a matter. Please, if you know anything about this, you must save Taka, please!
wait for this moment. You pay for waiting. Okay. Making the call. <laughs> I am glad to see your face, even if you do look rather wretched. <laughs> well, thank you for your honesty. As I suspected then, it was your former kin who kidnapped me. Well, I suppose I could, only if you agreed to see me again. Don't tell me you thought I'd be cross. On the contrary, I'm rather glad you saved me. See? Do I look angry? Do you need a closer look? I'm only teasing. I really am grateful, though. Seeing you show up to rescue me, I thought I was dreaming. But... Of course you'd come. How could you not? We both have certain people we could not ignore if we tried. Ah, forgive me. I seem to be rambling. Kichi must be worried. I should go see her at once. Say, it would take no time at all on that dashing steed of yours. Why don't I hop on behind you and hold you tight? Well, aren't you kind? Though you might have agreed to that a little too readily. <laughs> Really, though, I'm truly grateful that you came to my room. <gasps> Thank you. And now that I've learned about you, I feel obligated to share something of myself. Such a pleasant breeze. Being here with you, I somehow feel as if I can let my guard down. How sad we're nearly there. I hope I'm not alone in that feeling. If only we could just keep going, you and I, go somewhere 
far, far away. But, alas. I'm perfectly fine, Kichi. I'm sorry to have worried you. And thank you. Thank you for saving Taka. <laughs> I knew it. I knew I could count on you to help. Oh, I should mention Taka. The guest you are expecting has arrived. Ah, oh, I see. Very well. Thank you. Now, let me introduce you. Since you so boldly came to my rescue, I feel I should return the favor by revealing a secret of my own. <laughs> Once the cat's out of the bag, there's no putting it back in, you know. I'll be waiting in my room. Be sure to come by later. Do you know who I am? A sobriquet of my ancestor, though it seems some apply it to me. The truth is, in order to assist Lord E in his affairs, I've been keeping an eye on the expulsionists who frequent the Pleasure District. I wanted you to know, but I must promise not to breathe a word of this to another soul. Lord E is a long-time acquaintance of mine. I wish to be of service to him in whatever small way I can. Hmm. Any complaints? And before you insinuate anything, Taka does this for me willingly. Remind me, how long have you known Taka? I'd wager I'm a better judge of her intentions than the likes of you. That's enough talk about me, I should think. It's not every day you get an audience with the Chief Minister. Isn't there something you'd like to ask him? I do what my country requires of me. A sentiment alien to you, I'm sure. <laughs> Expulsionist fools. They think my death will prevent the opening of the country. Idiocy. I have my mission. And it leaves no time to entertain their stupidity. Ah, yes. I've heard stories. Stories about them collaborating with the foreigners. I'll keep my ears open, but I am a busy man and can offer no promises. I think we're done here. 
Try not to get in our way. Please, this way. Then, how about I share what I know of the Demon Claw Samurai in exchange for your assistance? I would like you to obtain a certain letter held by the Samurai of Mito. To do so, you will have to infiltrate their base. Once you have secured the letter, deliver it directly to me. Directly. Understood. If the samurai give you trouble, well, I trust you will know what to do. So, do we have a deal? Ah, dependable as always. Well then, head to the Hodogaya post. One of our allies will be expecting you. Tell me. What's on your mind? Yes, a fine idea. You came all this way to see me, after all. Talking with you like this, you're not the same person as when first I met you. Back then, you seemed so fierce, so free. But now, I know there is much more to you. Uh. Betray you. 
Despite your great strength, I see the sadness dwelling there. You must have seen your share of trouble in the past. And a few wounds that have never healed, I should think. You might say, I have a sense for these things. You know, you're terribly kind. You came to my rescue when I was in peril, did you not? I wish I could convey the joy I felt. The sheer relief when I set eyes upon you. I can almost imagine a day when I might utterly entrust myself to your care. <laughs> oh dear, I've said rather too much, haven't I? I blame your eyes. They're so easy to get lost in. Tell me, what's on your mind? Lovely. I see. Till next time, then. Hey! Ah, I had a feeling you would come. Let me show you the ropes. It's safer that way. Wander in alone, and you're sure to be ripped off. I've got a feeling I'm going to win big. As long as you'd let me borrow some of your good luck, that is.
Bingo the dice! Folks, I'm pretty sure. I'm going with you fish, then any slopes, number one. One and one, eat it. Yes. Next game. Down goes up. Folks, I'm pretty sure. You fish, then any slopes, number one. Three and one, eat it. I have a social. Next game. Folks, I'm pretty sure. You fish, then any slopes, number one. Four and six, eat it. I have a social. Next game. Folks, I'm pretty sure. You fish, then any slopes, number one. One and six, up. Yeah, I won. Next game. Folks, I'm pretty sure. You fish, then any slopes, number one. Three and six, up. Yes. Next game. Good enough. Folks, come pistol. You fish. Then any close. Number one. Four and one five. Get wrong. Next game. Folks, come pistol. You fish. Then any close. Number one. One two five. Yes. Next game. Folks, come pistol. You fish. Then any close. Number one. One and six five. Yeah, come on. Next game. Folks, come pistol. You fish. Then any close. Number one. Three two five. Yeah, come on. Next game. In the box, come pistol. You fish. Then any close. Number one. Very even. Yes, one. Next game. Well, I had quite a hot hand. How did you fare? Ah, fair enough. It's about that time. Stay too long, and you never know what you'll get mixed up in. Hey, you! Looks like you're on a roll. Want to share some of your good fortune? Hit them. So, what do you make of the place? There's never any shortage of cameras to take money from. Come whenever you feel like letting your hair down. See you around. Are you here? What do you want? Sure, I'm game. What's on your mind? Well, it's the domain of the Mori family, made famous by the Master Schema. Motonari Mori, in the Sengoku period. In Motonari's day, they governed six states as great daimyos, until it went down to two after the Tokugawa beat them at Sekigahara. In the two centuries since, 
their loyalty to the Shogunate has only been skin deep. It's the only thing they have in common with Satsuma. Really? All right, fine by me. See the next time. Excuse me, but could I ask you to do something for me? Pray, will you listen to this poor beggar? I'm looking for my daughter and require your assistance. I used to run a prosperous shipping business out in Nagasaki. That is, until my ships were wrecked in the great earthquake and I lost my wife to disease. In order to make a fresh start here in Yokohama, I put my daughter in a geisha house, telling her I'd be back soon. The poor child believed me. Then, when my health started to fail, I went looking for her. And now I hear her contract's been bought, and she's gone away. Doubtless, it's too late for me to ask for forgiveness. But if I could have one last look, a photograph even, perhaps I could rest in peace.
I haven't seen her in years, but she must be exceedingly beautiful, like her mother. Indeed, she has her mother's distinctive hair and features. You'll know when you see her. You're too kind. Now, my daughter's name is Risa. I would speak to the other geisha, but they refuse to see a beggar like myself. You saved my life. I don't know how I can ever repay you. Lisa? Yes, I used to work with her. Not many girls with names like that. Wait, did something happen to her? A foreign merchant bought out her contract, and now they live together. Here, I'll give you their address.
Thank you. Those expulsionists are truly an awful bunch. But tell me, why are you here? Surprised? You see, my mother was Dutch, and my father Japanese. My father? Why? What could he possibly want all of a sudden? He abandoned me years ago. I know life's been tough for him, what with his business going under and mother passing, but I just started to forget about him. That selfish man. Ever since I can remember, my face has brought me nothing but pain. Even as a geisha, I had to dye my hair black. Is Papa really so ill? Very well then. You may take my photograph. Also, you can let him know that I'm happy. I'll let you take care of the photograph. I'm not ready to meet just yet. But I'll consider it once I've sorted out my feelings. took the photograph. Well, show it to me. Ah, oh, Lisa. Goodness. Look how beautiful she is. I really can't thank you enough. You've really given me hope.
Running on my go over there! My sons! This way!
as if it weren't for you. Thanks for the help.
取るんじゃ。
Não. Eu te ouço, Dan! Yeah. 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 Yeah.